Okay guys, I'm gonna come to you live with a DIY one for all video and in today's video I'm just gonna show you my latest find and give you my impression on the latest device that I've found. And this is indeed a smartwatch. Well, this is my Apple Watch. <laughs> well, it's not actually an Apple Watch, but I get that a lot. It looks a lot like an Apple Watch and in the workplace I uh, get, always get um, asked is that an Apple Watch? Are you wearing a $400 Apple Watch? Oh, those watches are expensive. You're wearing a $600 Apple Watch. So I get that a lot. And um, so I'm, it's a people you know, they're just going crazy seeing you with an expensive watch. Well, this here is not an Apple Watch. It's actually a very cheap Android um, watch. <laughs> it's a GT08. And I, I paid about, um, what, 30 bucks for this watch and um, of course it's a ch Chinese version of an Apple look-alike watch and you know and so of course I get the Apple path on the back a lot and um, I, I was even in a meeting with customers and uh, somebody asked me in the meeting so you're wearing an Apple watch you know so anyway but anyway it's not an Apple watch as I said it's an Android watch and it's a GT08 watch and this watch is a very very nice watch i must admit um, but admittedly i must tell you that the software that came with this watch which is called the bt notifier um, it's not a very good software so i actually found another software that works but before we talk about that let me just tell you about the watch and what i like about it and what can be improved well the watch is actually a full pledge gsm phone i can actually remove um gsm card from my my smartphone right here and i can actually put that gsm card inside this watch and i can make telephone calls yep it works just like a telephone so i'm gonna go ahead right now and just sync the watch to my phone and uh, we'll just see how it works okay so here we go, I'm going to go ahead and connect. So it says connecting. I'm going to sync um, time and data with a remote device. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to try to make this close up as possible so you can actually see. I'm going to say yes. So now the devices are synced. So it's now synced to my smartphone. All right. So I can go back here and look at the menu. I can look at my inbox. You slow the inbox. So here you can see um, different text messages I have right there. All right so it's actually fully synchronized so the main use of this watch for me is just to look at my text messages and I have also used it as a telephone as well just to make telephone calls initially I did that a lot but like anything else I don't really use it to make telephone calls anymore but however um, if my phone does ring and I'm driving my car I can actually answer the calls on my watch so just to demonstrate to you right now, it's actually synced to my smartphone via Bluetooth right now. So um, the telephone feature in here should actually work just fine. So let me just bring up a telephone feature. And I'm doing right now, I'm just demonstrating right now. I'm just going to call a number. Uh, I don't know. could be any number. I'm just going to call somebody. Let's just call 8254. Two, four. I'm, I'm just calling a number. So this could happen to be your number. I'm sorry if it is, but I'm just calling a number just to demonstrate the use of the phone. All right. So here we go. So I'm gonna make a telephone call. So it's asking if I should call with BT call, which means Bluetooth call. If I had a SIM card inserted in this phone, then I could make a local call. So for right now, I'm gonna call with Bluetooth. So I click OK, it says processing, and there it is. All right, so I, I call, I made an, that's an invalid number right there. <laughs> so, but it actually works. So now I'm going to actually just call a different number, uh, just a random number I'm doing right. So here we go, Bluetooth call, click OK, it says processing, all right. Call ended, invalid number. All right, let's try it. It's another number. I'm hoping that I'll call one of my YouTube subscribers' numbers. 
Uh, let's see, okay, so let's go ahead and call. We'll do call. Okay. So he is actually dialing. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. No es posible realizar la llamada tal y como se marcó el número. Okay, so that's truly an invalid number. So I just wanted to demonstrate to you that I can actually make telephone calls from my watch, which actually uses the my phone to make the calls, right? Right there, see? It says call ended. So yeah, so that's a, that's a neat feature. And I like the fact that you can also use it as a full GSM phone, which I have actually done. I've taken the SIM card out of my smartphone and I've put in this watch and make telephone calls and so on and so forth. So the look and feel of the watch is very, very nice, very nice look and feel. I'm going to take off the, the back cover here just to show you what it looks like inside. I'm going to try to do that with my fingernail here. Well, let's see here. Let's try it right here. Okay. All right, here we go. So that's the back cover off the phone right there. All right. And I'm going to take the battery out just to show you the the GSM slot where you'd actually insert your SIM card. Okay. I hope you can see that. Okay. So right here, you'd actually insert your SIM card right in here. All right. And then it becomes a fully functioning telephone. All right. So let me go ahead and just put the battery back in. Of course, I have to turn the phone back on or the smartwatch. Let me enter my password. Now do that off screen, just in case my kids are watching. Okay, so here we go again. So okay, as you can see, the the time has reset because I removed the battery. So it reconnected to my smartphone automatically. I'm gonna say yes, sync time and date. So I'm gonna sync it. So the time was changed. It's now 10:29 p.m. Eastern time, and the date is of course correct. So right now it's fully synchronized with my smartphone again. All right, and one thing I want to point out as well, you can actually take pictures with this smartwatch as well. And you can do remote pictures, like I could use it to take a picture using my smartphone, or you could, you could take pictures locally on the watch as well. Now also, not only that, you could also do a video and but the video quality, uh, of course, is not very good. You know, what do you expect? It's a watch. You know, the main function is, to me, that I find useful is the ability to make telephone calls from the watch, receive telephone calls on the watch, receive text messages on the watch, send text messages from the watch. It also has some functions which don't actually work because this device has like a universal software on it and it has FM radio which if your phone doesn't support FM radio then that, that function won't work. It also has as well weather and but the weather on this device is actually the weather in China so it's not relevant to your location at all. And a couple of things that I would like to see improve the weather has been one of them and I would like it to show local weather and the city the home city is set to Bogota all right it won't have your, your home city if you buy this GT08 it won't have your home city with the current firmware and I did contact the seller about that issue as well that's one thing I would like to see get fixed and also this GTO 8 comes with a software called BT Notifier. So if you happen to pick up this phone, that's the software that you will get. I call it phone, but it's really a smartwatch. You'll get the BT Notifier software. But I do not recommend the BT Notifier software. The reason being, it's part in Chinese and also it doesn't work well at all. I downloaded the software. I mean, it couldn't get anything to work. So I, I just did a search on the Play Store and I found a software called Smartware. Right, right there. It's called Smartware. And I've actually 
know that a software on my phone. Okay, smartware software. And that's the software that I use to actually sync the Bluetooth with my watch. Okay, so the software works very well. So I just want to let you guys know that if you happen to pick up one of these watches and they'll send you the, the pamphlet with what software to download, do not use the software that's included with this watch or that the seller recommends that you use with this watch because the BT notifier software does not work well. I recommend that if you get this watch, then you use the Smartware software, which is a Bluetooth software. And it does a good, a fantastic job. I mean, it syncs things like notifications from PayPal, from YouTube, from eBay, just different things, text messages, and the Smartware software does a fantastic job. So overall, you know, I like my little device um, very much, my little smartwatch. And one thing about it, you always get comments like, oh, I like your Apple Watch, or is that an Apple Watch? You know, you, you'll get asked a lot. So uh, it's one of those things where uh, I really got tired of explaining that, hey, it's not an Apple Watch, it's an Android watch. And, you know, so many times I get asked at that work, is that an Apple Watch? And of course, I, I won't tell a story. So I just said, no, it's an Android watch. But I get to the point now where I just say, oh, so you like my watch? So that way I won't try to tell a, a lie or anything. I just got tired of telling people that it's an Android watch, even though just, just be prepared that if you do buy this watch that you get asked a lot if it's an Apple watch or well, because it does look like an Apple watch, okay? So yeah, there you have it, guys. That's my latest find. And I just wanted to give you my impressions on it. And overall, um, would I recommend this device to a friend? I would, but I wouldn't per se recommend this device to a person who is not willing to tinker with it, you know, or a person who is not tech savvy. Because I said, I had to go and research and find a Bluetooth software that actually works well with this watch and the smartware software was the answer. So there you have it guys, Anthony I'm coming to you live. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And of course, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Give the thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.